Good morning. And let me um, welcome you to this uh, Bernard L. Schwartz Symposium on Jobs, Investment, and Rebuilding America, Economic and National Security Issues, which is being held by Economists for Peace and Security. I want, first of all, uh, to offer our thanks uh, as an organization to Bernard Schwartz, uh, who unfortunately cannot be with us today, but uh, to whom we are indebted for unstinting support of uh, the symposium that we have organized uh, in Washington over the last several years. I also would like to uh, say a word in remembrance of a uh, most distinguished economist, Lawrence Klein, who was the founding co-chair of our organization, then known as Economists Against the Arms Race. Um, uh, Larry Klein was a um, great theoretical and empirical economist spanning the age of Keynes and the age of Keynesianism, the development of numerical modeling of economic performance. But he was also an economist who always understood that the function of economics is to address itself uh, to the issues of pressing social concern. The function of EPS in that spirit is to foster professional discussion of the problems that face this country and the world and to integrate the full spectrum of security issues into economic discourse and debate. That's something that we have taken as our particular role in the economics profession since our founding in 1989 uh, and represents, I think, a distinctive contribution that this organization makes. We plan to be very much in that spirit this morning discussing both economic and security issues. A central tenet of our work is that economics cannot be reduced to simple slogans about budget deficits, the public debt, the size of government. Instead, we must engage with the larger issues in the concrete form that they are faced by the people of this country. Jobs, wages, investment, economic growth, resources, the environment, the structure and integrity of the financial system, taxes, social protections, and social insurance. Together, these issues frame an agenda for public action and an alternative to the sterile and destructive politics of sequestration and shutdown. They also reflect a conviction that even now, even in the rather depressive condition of our politics, that action remains a possibility. We are, as always, thrilled to work as partners with the New America Foundation uh, and uh, to adopt the format that uh, our friends at NAF established quite some time ago for symposia of this type, which is to say to have three panels very tightly organized, driven by chairs with a ruthless control of the stopwatch, uh, and 
um, imposed on the audience without any breaks whatsoever, although coffee is available for those uh, who require it. Uh, we are very honored uh, to be hosting in mid-morning a um, keynote uh, talk from the very distinguished chair of the Council of Economic Advisors, Jason Furman, and we're looking forward to that. But let me now, and without uh, further ado, uh, turn the uh, microphone and the dais over to Michael Lind and ask the uh, members of the first panel uh, to come forward.